support me and I started coming here to Hunger Generation about two months ago. I'd heard about the church um, this past summer from Oksana. Um, she's a friend of mine and it kind of piqued my interest at that point but it wasn't until a few months ago that I was kind of going through a, a hard time myself and, and just saw this as a great opportunity, something that I was missing in my life. Um, before coming to church um, here, you know, it wasn't a regular thing for me to, to go to a church service. I, I I grew up in a Catholic church and so I, I believed in God and and you know it's kind of been there in my life but more in the background uh, I didn't really have a good understanding of the Bible or, or really what it meant to to have a relationship with God and so that's where I kind of felt like that was something that I could build on and, and really really grow from and so uh, I really had a great first impression of Hunger Generation everyone was so welcoming of course the service is amazing the the speeches that they give it's just so motivating and positive and and I was hooked the first time that I came and I've been coming back ever since and it's it's really just brought a lot of great positivity in my into my life both the the service and the people um, I've always had God in my life however it's just never been like a relationship or I never fully understood what that meant and coming to the service I would learn more and more each time that I come and it kind of I had that feeling maybe that I wanted to raise my hand at the end of service when the lad would call people up, but it, it took me a while. It took me about um, a little over a month and a half of being coming to the services to do it. It was at the last um, Miracle Catch service. I was just really touched by the service, and when he called people up to be saved, you know, I just got that quick heartbeat, and I just knew knew it was the right time for me. And since that service, it, it's been a short amount of time, but I've really felt just much more positivity in my life and just more openness with myself of, of wanting to learn and, and grow as a person and, and with the church and, and, and with my relationship with um, Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Uh, I've chosen to get baptized because I think it's just that, like in, in the Bible, you know, that display that you, you are giving your life to Jesus. And I want to take that next step and continue to learn more as much as I can and, and deepen my relationship with God and with Holy Spirit and what a perfect day to do this to, to bring in the new year um, couldn't be more excited to do it um, my goals from here again are just to continue to gain more knowledge of it and hopefully um, spread that to other people um, you know whether it's helping their their lives be saved or just bringing more positivity to other people continue for myself uh, I have a lot of exciting things upcoming in my life and just to keep on that that same positive path Courtney, do you believe Jesus Christ as, as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. Do you promise to follow Him with good and clear conscience all the days of your life? Yes, I do. Now, based on your faith and confession and your commitment, we will baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because you spoke it, it is finished at the cross. Now I'm living. 